Hello, my name is Michael Spangnable, Fire Chief of the Town of Hadley, and I just wanted to give you some information on this year's open burning. Open burning began January 15th of this year and will be running through May 1st. And I just wanted to go through some of the rules and regulations and what's behind uh, allowing open burning every day during that time frame. So basically, the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection uh, has a standard. It's 310 CMR under the mass fire uh, under mass regulation, uh, which dictates to the fire service when we can allow open burning. It's based upon air particulates and if there's a good day to burn, if it's not going to be polluting uh, the environment. So every day prior to us issuing burn permits, we have to check in with the DEP to ensure that the DEP is allowing burning for that day. On top of that, we also have to check the daily fire weather in order to make sure that you're safe so that we, if it's very dry out or if we have high winds anticipated or if it's going to be a really wet and rainy day where you wouldn't be able to get a good burn, we have to evaluate that weather every day before we can issue burn permits as well. If we do decide to issue burn permits, uh, you can come to the fire station beginning at 9.30 in the morning and you can pick up a permit there. It's $5 per permit. And what we do is we have you sign off on, on a sheet that gives us all your contact information, cell phone number, the location of where you're gonna be burning. Uh, that way we can get in touch with you if something comes up and we have to cancel burning for the day. I have I've brought with me the permit application and it has some really good information which you would bring home with you and we expect that you would read it and follow the, the regulation. Basically what we're asking is that you keep the burn piles not very big, burn smaller sections and actually uh, add to the pile rather than just having one big burn pile. Making sure that you're using good judgment. So brush piles uh, shouldn't be made of excessive size and also what you're burning. The regulation allows that you can burn brush, cane, driftwood, and forestry debris from anything other than commercial and industrial land clearing. Agricultural materials are allowed if you're, if you're burning prunings or diseased uh, or infected beehives. Uh, and then basically just smaller pieces of, of lumber, not uh, if you're clearing uh, area for a house or for, for something, you shouldn't be burning stumps or, or anything like that. Just want to make sure that you're burning safely. Make sure that you have a water source there. So if you need to extinguish the fire uh, and make sure that you have uh, enough help for whatever you're burning. I just wanted to bring back uh, in, you know, in the past, in 1991, we did have one farmer who was overcome by, uh, by fire when he was burning his asparagus field. And we just want to make sure that people are safe when they're doing this. So make sure that you have the help you need to control whatever it is that you're burning. If you need resources from the fire department, please reach out to us and we'd be happy to come out, check your burn pile for you or to assist if we can. We re also reserve the right to revoke a permit any, at any time. Sometimes we do have pretty severe changes in weather during the day. That's why we ask for your cell phone number or a contact number of where you will have it on site of the burn. That way, if something comes up where we have to uh, issue a red flag for the day or cancel burning, we can get in touch with you. Again, if your fire gets out of control, please call 911 right away. So if you feel uncomfortable that you can't handle the fire that you've started, please make sure you reach out to us uh, and, and don't be concerned about if, it, if you end up getting control of it after you've called us, uh, we'll come out anyways. We just wanna make sure that you're safe while you're burning. Again, uh, everything is dictated upon uh, the air quality for the day through the Mass Department of Environmental Protection. And just be advised that if you cause a nuisance for your neighbors or if you damage any of your neighbor's uh, property, uh, you are ultimately responsible for that. So that's why we are very strict on when we issue the burn permits. I hope the information's been helpful. And if you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to the, uh, the fire department on our business line. That's 413-584-0874 and it's extension 101. Thank you.